Sweet Stamp. Sweet Stamp is a product I developed with a lot of help from my friend Anne-Marie here. Sweet Stamp is a way to create beautiful lettering on your cakes without having to use cutters or any other tools. It's all about embossing and painting. So it's a brand new concept never seen before. It is patent pending in 150 countries and Anne-Marie has kindly given up some of her spare time today to show you how to use Sweet Stamp. So do you want to take over Anne-Marie? Yeah, absolutely. So the first thing I do when I get my um, order of Sweet Stamp, I take my cellophane off um, and then it's just, this is just, to me, it's the quickest and easiest way. Um, just get a foam pad over, flick over, give it a bang. So, and then I need um, a sharp tool just to loosen off any that don't come out. So, what you do then, so like the zero will come with an insert. So these are all um, for the, you know, these bits, just get rid of those. Just make sure that they don't go into um, any of your cake or anything like that. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Because they're like some of them are quite small. Um, and it's this is just a way of to really get a new cake tin and or you get a new uh, board, you want to season it. Um, you just want to make sure that it's it's you know that it's ready to use. You just do it once and that's it, it's done then. So I get rid of all those extra pieces and then I would just put them uh, straight back into um, the tray. Then in the tray, you will see, so I just need to, so you have a little triangle and then what you'll do, so any that are a little bit stiff and it's this, um, the and one. Is that the and sign, is it? Yeah. That came out perfectly second ago. Yeah. Oh, the abs, the abs. Oh, the abs yeah. side, there, there you go. Yeah. So I showed the camera the little triangles and what we're talking about. Yeah. So maybe I'll just take the number here. So this is the empty tray here. So these are all the, the uh, numbers that were just taken out. And when the number or the letter goes into the slot, you'll see a little shape here. And this is what anne -Marie is talking about. That helps you remove the letter by putting a scriber or a sharp tool underneath and just gently bringing it forward. But she's also going to show you another way to take the, the letters and the numbers out of the board once you have completed the first round, if you understand. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll just say that I have all of my letter, my numbers back in, because you don't really want to watch me. Here, I'll do those. this. Yeah, so you don't want to watch me put all of those back in, so I'll pass that to you this then. my job. So I just get like a, a small piece of fondant, sugar paste, there's um, a bit of, if it's not tacky enough, you can just stick um, a dot of water onto it. Oop, and don't throw it at yourself. <laughs> and then just press it down and it will lift. Sorry, there. Uh, These are very big numbers. Yeah, it will just lift. <laughs> it won't lift when... <laughs> Here, that's, that's the hard number because it's the... Uh, there you go. Three. Yeah, it'll just... Lift them out. Lift so your yeah. numbers then. If, if you don't want to use the scriber option, that's another way to lift the numbers out. So that's two ways to uh, remove the sweet stamp uh, lettering. Yeah, the there you go. Tray. Look, prove that I can do it. The <laughs> one came out. <laughs> See, that some of the numbers and the letters, they have a lot of extra details or loops, so they might just yeah, take like the, a few extra goes. Yeah, like the at sign, because of the, the nature of the shape. You just need to cover a larger surface area with the um, fondant and then lift off. Now this is probably not going to work for me again. There you go. See what I mean? So uh, yeah, this right. this is a quite a large set. This one here. So the rest yeah, like I mean, if you look at say the numbers in the cookie, in the cookie set. So sorry, just turn that around. Yeah. So you've the eight. And the eight, so there's a huge difference then yeah. size-wise with those then. So these ones like come out um, really easy. So there are loads of uh, different font styles. Um, there's numbers to match um, all of the fonts. The cookie set comes with additional um, letters, like there's two P's, two Y's, two A's, two E's and it has um, the numbers. Then there's the other 
process. So th this looks like a larger set. Um, it's a medium it's, size yeah, font. Yeah, it's still a medium size font. It's just you have your numbers, your upper, your lower, and your numbers all in the one there. I'm going to bring the, um, this up to the camera so people can see the, how tiny these ones are. So this is the cookie set here. Oh, seconds. So the cookie set you can see is so tiny and it's going to be great for those little projects. So if you have like a longer message on your cake or cookies or cupcakes that need messages. So it's really cute. And we'll use that in a little while as well. So how do you use it? So there's a, a few ways of using it. Um, you can uh, go directly um, onto um, just your board. Um, you can infill with your, you know, tiny, like your mini pearls there. Um, like this, these are from the Easter set. So I've just sort of painted those off and I put a little... Here, I'm going to show the camera. Yeah, there's a bit of texture, a little bit of gold mm -hmm. to highlight that. So this is from a previous video we did. So you can see this has the sprinkles inside it. These are, this is a painted word Easter using the elegant set. And then the Easter egg and the um, carrots are with a Easter set that um, we just like have loads of little seasonal sets as well. So that's a few examples from a previous video. So Anne will show you how to um, emboss individually yeah. and with a tacky pad. Okay, so if I was going to emboss, we'll do the name first, I think. Yep. Um, so have my tacky pad. So the tacky pad comes with uh, this plastic cover on the back. So that's really important, don't throw that away. That we keep your pads clean um, and it has a, a dual use. So what I would do, like, like the tacky pad is about four inches high. Yeah, it is, is four it? inches high. Yes, yeah, so it's four inches high. Um, so I can sort of use it just to gauge like where on my cake I want to put the name. So, you know, I just use my thumb or finger and say, okay, so that's about there. So I line up my letters. Now, like these are a calligraphy font, um, and it's nice to have them placed so that they're together. Like I've seen them where like the letters are a and yeah, you can y, space them yeah, um, where you can have a space. But I do think it looks from the, the, I love that look. Yeah. That's, that's the way it's meant to look, but if you yeah. have a different preference, yeah. that's okay though. So, you can see here's my corner of my um, plastic there. So, I just line that up. Quick press. There's no adhesive um, on these. So, I'll just peel this off. There's no adhesive on the tacky pad. Um, it's just, um, there's a natural sort of stick. Um, it's non-toxic. Um, then, just give another press then, just so it's firmly like onto your tacky pad. Um, and then when you're going to impress onto your cake. And make sure your cake is freshly iced as oh, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, <laughs> if you um, leave your cake for any length of time, when you're impressed, you're gonna get like sort of like cracking an elephant skin then around. So what I do, I look from above. So I'm looking at the space in between the cake and in between the board so that I can see how far in I'm um, pushing. Oh, so I need a, just to, if it was this, if I was doing real cake, I would use the smoother just so I don't have handprints then on the top. So just to start. And you're leaning the pad on the tabletop yeah. as well. Yeah. So it's nice and steady too. And then I just come away. That's intact. Will I bring this over? Yeah, I'll grab that for you. So that's my light emboss. So it's really pale. I don't know if the camera can actually pick that up, but you can get the idea there. That's where the name is going to be. So what I would do, I would let that set up just for maybe half an hour, and then I would paint that. So we're going to leave that one um, to this side. And then I'm just going to go onto the white. Then if I wanted to, um, so you can see when I'm removing lettuce from the tacky pad, just gently lift them. 
I'm, like I'd be a bit of a neat freak, so like normally I would take them out, put them <laughs> back in, so that I, I don't lose them there. And then always put your uh, plastic back onto the back. That's going to stop any um, lint or fluff like sticking to it and keep it nice and fresh for you. Um, so. If it does get dirty, how do you? What's your best yeah. recommendation? So, so it's it's not a product that's going to last you forever. What do you have one for over a year now? I have mine over a year, and, and you do use it. I've never I've never cleaned it, <laughs> but um, I've always I use and I put the plastic back in place. Yes, yeah. but if you do time. get a um, explosion of icing sugar or cornstarch, just get some warm soapy water and rinse it down just to make sure there's no residue on the pads, and that should keep. Uh, it's an action for a few more weeks or months and you can always get the replacement ones as well if ever needed so Anne-Marie's just picking out the letters now using that fondant method oops what, what initials are you doing? oh A and D <laughs> <laughs> the D's are a tricky one too I'm taking the E out yeah. not the one I wanted <laughs> This is a brand new set, isn't it? Yeah, like uh, like the sets I have at home, like because I use them all the time, they just pop out then. Yeah. Um, so if I wanted to do um, just like, I mostly do wedding cakes, so um, I do a lot of monograms. Um, so I use the initials out of um, the elegant, elegant, and then the large number set, there's a beautiful ampersand um, with that. Yeah, it's a really pretty one. Yeah, it's beautiful. So I'm just going to imprint this by hand. So I have to sort of face it towards me just a little. Um, so I'll always do the ampersand first because if you get that central, then you can put your letters outside. Yeah, so I'm happy with positioning there and I can just press them just in with my fingers. And you don't want to force the letter in, you're just going to gently guide yeah. it and press yeah, it Yeah, I'm in. going to do a hammered effect on this one then as well. Oh nice, yes. Um, so then go with the A. So I've lined my A up there. Obviously when you're doing this, like you'll have it facing um, you and just make this life easier for yourself. Um, and then do you know when you pick up a letter and you're not sure like, oh, like the R's especially, like you're not sure like which way round like it should be. Um, like cause if you look at that, like you could think, oh, you know, which way does it go? If you just put it, hold it back up towards your tray. I'll um, actually take oh, yeah, yeah, the tray I'll give you that. Yeah. With your good hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So um, this is the tray up close. This is the lowercase in the um, elegant. So you can see all the letters are in alphabetical order and also the way that you should emboss them onto your cake. So you can see the way the R is there. And I'll just pop that back in. So it's all laid out, you don't have to be figuring out what letter is what, it's exactly the way you see it in the tray. So, once I've impressed, I'll just do a rub over with my smoother, and like that would be your sort of standard finish. But, if you want to give um, a really... A texture. Just, yeah. yeah, like a, a textured, um, I just really like this hammered um, sort of texture. So I'm just going to turn it this way. It's um, a dummy so that, cake, yeah. It's a, yeah, it's a dummy cake. So you can see, just so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, and I just um, have a tool, and it's the tiny little ball tool on the end. I can kind of pick that up there. <laughs> yeah, it's teeny. And then just going to hammer. And this is absolutely stunning. Um, then. You won't Once see you it until you're painted. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to continue that? And you can maybe do a um, yeah. cookie topper. Yeah, that's perfect. There you go. Yep, yeah. perfect. Um, so, just grab more paste. 
Okay, so when you're doing um, a cookie topper, so we've obviously this tacky pad and then we have the cookie tacky pad. Again, it has the uh, plastic on the back. We had done one earlier using one of the element sets. So I'll just soften up my paste. You have to also get used to your brand of oh, yeah, sugar yeah, based fondant, whatever you call it, because some are firmer than others. And when you're embossing, you need to um, just have a practice run to make sure you're, you're aware of how deep to emboss. And Anne Marie is going to go through how yeah, so, to emboss. Yeah, absolutely. So, oh, my plastic has disappeared. Oh, no, I left it on, did I? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so like fine, like it is difficult to. Um, yeah. see so don't lose it yeah. yeah so put it down onto your counter so this is uh, from the element set and it's absolutely gorgeous so i'm just going to central put that centrally then onto um the film. film there then i'm going to oh we'll stay with the a and d theme <laughs> <laughs> so we've got our a our D, oops, and we've got our ampersand there. So when you're um, putting them onto the film, um, you're doing it so that it faces you how it looks. So these are quite small, so you can, like if you find that, you know, I've, I've quite large hands. Um, like you can go in with your scribe tool and just move them and manipulate them to where you want them to go. So it's facing me. So I just line it up, press it down, take my film away, give it another press. So if I wanted to do like three or four of these cookies, like I can just press away. So your first one is going to be your tester. Like I always um, test what pressure I need um, to go. Um, just make sure my paste is a bit I think bigger. this is a medium um, kind of fondant, it's not too firm, not too soft. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's really nice, yeah. Um, so, just going to find my position and down. So I went quite firm with that, but this is, so I need to go a bit harder with that because I just need more of an imprint. So then, just remember like what you pressed the previous time and just go a little bit harder. Perfect. And that's perfect then. So I lift and then cookie cutter. So I'll just line that up. So emboss first and then cut. Oh yeah, if yeah, yeah, cut just, and yeah. Then emboss, that's where it gets tricky. Yeah, because you're trying to sort of line it up then. So I'm going to show them the um, kind of stippled effect you've done on the lettering here that I put. Okay. And then we'll show a close up of the cookie set. So I don't know, can the camera pick that up? So you can see that texture. I think I can zoom in. Yeah. Oh sorry the camera's just going a bit crazy here. So you can see that textured effect there. So you can just leave it plain or you can decide to do that texture. Okay, so do you want to bring those two up? Yeah. So this is one we painted. Yes. So it's pretty much the exact same yeah. design. Yeah. So here's the embossed one here. So you can see that's ready to be painted or if you can, you can emboss a little bit deeper if you want to, um, to just leave it plain. But this is the finished one from earlier. So isn't that lovely? So just painted with gold gives such a beautiful effect. So you can use that for your cookie toppers, cupcake toppers or plaques on the front of your cake as well. Yeah. So if I wanted to create more of a design, I can then go in with the elements. Um, turntable is behind great. you. It's behind you. Oh, it's behind me. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't behind me. Um, oh, the last one. one. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So, if I wanted to get creative, I can use like this element set. There's a, another element set like with the, the swirls. So, yeah. I love that that's gorgeous then as well. You could also um, go in with Laurie's set, like the cake dress, 
Um, she's all of the florals, the botanicals. It's a stunning set and you can create a beautiful. So you can see that has large, small flowers, little filler flowers, leaves and vines and stems. So you can create your own floral arrangement on the cake. So just to do, so when I'm um, going to use um, sweet stamp, I'll have all my lettering set out uh, before I even cover the cake because basically you want to cover your cake, get it, get your nice finish, and then bring your sweet stamp, just impress, um, and then you're you're sort of good to go. So if I left this for another half an hour and I was like going in with the elements, um, it, I just wouldn't get as neat uh, a design as I'd be looking for. So I'm just going to. That. So Anne-Marie's now showing you how to apply with the pad to the size of cake and she's doing free hands application yeah. as well. So I would let that then set. So I have a nice little bit of you know design. So I can I paint this in gold and I might even I might do gold, I might bring a bit of colour in with this. If I want to then I could add like little flowers then. Um, you, you, like the design, like you've all the tools there and like the design then is up to you. You can just be completely creative. Um, there's loads of beautiful, if you go on Amy's Instagram, like there's just the most so amazing designs. So much inspiration there, yeah. And like, every, like if you have a fabulous design, like, you know, tag Amy, she loves sharing them then. Yeah, absolutely. So we've done the application to the side of the cake both ways. We've done the cookie pad application. So will we do maybe embossing and the sprinkle effect? Yeah. And then Perfect. we will paint the, um, the letter. Yeah, do it to show how to paint that. Might do a nice uh, watercolour effect on, on oh, the, yeah. which one? The Let's white see. one maybe? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, and you want to paint the white one with gold or something like that. Yes, yeah. yeah. So um, again, I'm just rolling out fondant. Glad you can't zoom in on this now, it's getting uh, very <laughs> linty. So again, so I just need to, so when you're taking off your tacky pad, you know, be, be a little bit gentle. Um, like I have all of the sets. Um, I'm very lucky to have them all. Um, perk of the job. <laughs> um, and what I do, people are always saying, oh, you know, how do you stop them sort of falling out? I just have them all stacked like this, like in like a, a hobby craft sort of box, and they're perfect. Uh, when we were doing the tutorial earlier on, somebody said they get like um, an A4 um, Ziploc zip bag and just put each of them in, like which is really handy. Um, you can put like cellophane on them, uh, but then you're like you're unwrapping and wrapping it, you know, all the time. That wouldn't suit me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I will go with the numbers again. Um, so I know why this um, three won't come out. Why is that? Uh, somebody is uh, struggling with. Um, Coming, becoming 30. It's not me. <laughs> I'm well past it. I'm two weeks away until my 30th. <laughs> so, again, using my fill on. Fill? Yeah. Yes, or the backing or the, the backing. protective. Yeah. Yeah. So, if my Prio on again, line up with plastic, press, move the plastic, give it a firm little press, lift your, like with all, always like with sugar paste, just lift before you uh, impress. And with this one, because it's like the 21 that we did earlier on, um, you need a bit of depth, so you need to actually press just a little bit uh, firmer because you want, 
um, somewhere for your pearls to go in. Like if you feel that you press like um, harder to one side, just use your smoother. Yeah. So you can see like I pressed quite hard and like the 30 stayed on. So if I was doing cookies, like I could go and stamp a few. If I was doing um, cookies for Amy's birthday. Um, <laughs> Are you? <laughs> no, I have to um, master uh, vegan macarons and yes, you uh, do. <laughs> vegan marshmallows. That, that's my job for that's the 30. That's one, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'll just line up, cut. And I have. So I'm just going to lift that, just put it into um, this plastic here. So we've just tiny, um, I, can, I still. They're can't. called non pearls or micro pearls? Micro pearls, yeah. yeah. Micro pearls, so much easier <laughs> to say. Um, so we get a memory block with words. Yes. <laughs> Too often. <laughs> so. I want to fill that with the pearl, so use glue. Didn't bring the glue, but we'll we'll um, uh, work away with our water. Uh, you can use piping gel as well; like it's equally as good, and it has that nice sort of sweet flavour. So you're just um, putting the water, yeah, water gel glue. into where, like so, where the three and the O is. I'm just putting the water like in. To, to that area, just to create something um, for the micro pearls to stick to. Don't get water on it, okay? <laughs> so that's my water in there. So you can put your pearls into the lid, um, into a cupcake case, you can actually create like a little funnel effect and then just trickle them in. This is just a plastic tray, that's just to collect those that sort of fall outside the area. And then you can just go in. Make sure that they're in. This last one's in. This is just a quicker way um, rather than painting. Oh, fantastic. Drop me to. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, got it. There you go, perfect. Excess ones to shake off. I'll show the camera that I'm more of a stray one. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Glue will be better than water, just you, that more, a bit more of tackiness there. It's a lovely effect. And you can get these pearls in um, many shops and in different colour combinations or just plain colours, but that's just lovely. It actually gives a lovely texture to it. Oh, well. it's lovely. And you, know yeah. actually and nice? you can do that on the board. Like, like I could have, like if I'd impressed Easter. Um, and more de with more depth, it would have been the same. I could have filled that then as well. Yeah, beautiful. So what's next is painting. So you can paint with um, ready-made paints, um, like whatever brand like you're selling. Um, I think they're all quite similar now. Um, you can go with your ready-made paints. You can uh, mix up your dusts with dipping solution. Um, it just like have a mess around, see which medium you prefer. You want a good consistency of paint. That's why I like these um, because they're they're ready to go. Right? They're, they're ready to go. Yeah. yeah. So if you're using um, the gold, you need to give it a really good shake, just because um, the metallic element. Um, sticks to the bottom. Um, Amy brought out um, a fantastic um, range of brushes. I looked at here they are. Uh, there are two new ones that you can show those. So you've a thicker and a thin, so and you can 
yep. go through those. So it's a set of two. Hang on. Hopefully the camera will zoom in on them there. Yep. And they're perfect sizes for using with sweet stamp. We have the one and the treble zero. And they've been designed with a triangle handle, so it makes them really easy for you to hold. Yes. The bristles are short, there's no animal hair as well, and they're just they just make the sweet stamp paint process much easier. So I'll get them. So you have some? Here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I have, have some yeah. ones. So I'll always start with the thicker brush, um, just because it's easier um, to get the uh, the bulk of the painting done. So um, do you want to bring the camera over, Amy, or are you happy? Over it's there? actually it'll be fine from that distance. Oh, yeah, I'll okay, bring the, the cake up them to the camera after. Okay, so all I'm doing. I'm just going in. I'm surprised Amy hasn't offered to paint this uh, because she's so much quicker than I am. I can, I have no problem. No, no, I really don't. <laughs> I, I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> this, is a, this is a lovely effect with the texture inside the, um, the, the lettering. And you can only really see the impact when it's painted in. So that's the A nearly done. And you've got, like, all of these paints, I'm using the, the metallic um, gold there, but all of these paints work ease, equally as well. And um, if you show that consistency, Amy, um, if you even use that, just to show the consistency of paint you'd be looking for. So it's going to be hard to tilt this sideways, but you can kind of see from the corner there. It's that lovely. Yeah, like thick, a but still, yeah, but it's still very yeah. fluid as well, which is lovely. So that's the uh, the gold in that range. Yeah, perfect. And like if you're mixing your dusts with your uh, dipping solution, um, that's the texture that you'd be looking for then as well. Yeah. So. You have loads of fonts now, Amy. There's yeah, there's um the signature range is like the larger calligraphy style, and there is four in that range. They're called elegant, handwritten, curly, and stylish. Um, I love the curly. Come around and show off some of these. So they're all color coded as well. So if you can see from the the table here, this is the curly set. So that's that lovely kind of pale green. The handwritten set here is the uh, kind of the mint blue stylish is the coral and then we're using the the bubblegum pink one which is the elegant so this is like the signature range so these are like the calligraphy the the, the kind of trendy style yeah. of um of lettering on cakes and then we have the mini set which i showed you earlier which is the tiny one and then we have the classic which is a really plain plain set it's the lilac color and we have the magical, which is like almost like a cartoony Disney style one, and then oh, I'm just wow. going yeah, I'm just going in with the thinner brush now. Beautiful. So I do all of my thick work first, and then go in with the thin. Yeah, the and brush. The, the brush duo, as they, they're sold as a set of two, they work perfectly with those um, with all the sweet stamps actually. Um, yeah, the classic set is like a really plain font, and then we have magical, which is like a Disney style, and then. We have the Sweet Sticks one, which is a really nice kind of fun, funky calligraphy style. So there's small, medium and large and different styles within each. So there's loads for, for everybody. And what we're finding is people just, you know, once you buy Sweet Stamp, you're hooked, you will buy more. Yeah. So this is your warning. <laughs> uh, so people love it. Like it's it's actually a fun process to lettering on cakes. Yeah, and I, I mix my fonts and um, I love uh, to these would be my yeah. sort of favourites. So I love the alphabet, the large alphabet, and I pair it then with the the smaller text. Then yeah, from the I've, I've seen set. people make messages with um, like I, the twinkle twinkle little stars one I've seen recently, where the twinkle twinkle might be in the smaller font and then little stars in the large. Or Anne does she uses the uh, well, she does she uses the larger like the uppercase from the elegant set and all lowercase in the mini so it's a, it's a really creative process it's not yeah. there's no rules there's just guidelines whatever works for you i think that's the same with, with everything with cake decorating 
there are obviously a certain food safety rules, but after that, the creative process is is yours to own Absolutely. and to figure out what suits you. So that's actually looking fantastic. Yeah, beautiful. Shall I show the camera? Yeah, yeah, of course you can. So this is the elegant set here, and this is with the stippling effect. So you can see how beautiful that is. Now that is a dummy cake, obviously, so that's why I can hold it like that. So that's the, um, that one done. I think that's all of the, the process we need to show you. Yeah. So we have the painting, we have the sprinkles, we have the embossing, and yeah, that's it, I think. We have everything now. So I um, just wanted to thank you for uh, tuning in to watch the, the whole video. If there's any questions, just message me on Facebook or Instagram. Make sure you hashtag Sweet Stamp and you tag us. Um, Anne Marie from Cherry Picture Cakes, um, she's always tagged and mentioned on um, my Instagram pages as well. So make sure you check her out. She does these beautiful wedding cakes. So, yes, yeah, one to follow. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, just any questions, get in touch. Um, I hope um, this is, has explained uh, a lot and answered some questions. And just shown how easy it is to yeah. use that. Yeah. Uh, but my, I suppose my key thing is prep your board, mm -hmm. um, keep your tacky pad clean, don't throw away the plastics, yeah. and be creative, mix and match, have fun with, have fun with, it. with yeah. it, yeah, always fun. Yes. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. See you again. Bye. Bye.